Club Express Understanding Security Roles. Club Express includes multiple levels of security, and you can have as many people as you need at each level. The highest level is an administrator. Administrators can do everything to configure and manage the system, including defining other administrators and other security levels. We were already logged into one of our demo sites as an administrator. So we see a link to the control panel, and when we click on it, the control panel is displayed with all tabs and all options on each tab. The second level of security is called a coordinator. That is, someone who has administrator rights for a limited set of functions. For example, an administrator can make someone a coordinator just for the member manager and or let them administer discussion forums or surveys. When that member logs in, they also see a control panel, but it only displays those tabs and functions where they have admin rights. Now let's log back in as the administrator. To select other members to be administrators and coordinators, click on the Control Panel's Club tab and scroll down to the Setup section. When you click on Administrators and Coordinators, a screen is displayed with two areas. The top part of the screen allows you to define administrators. Click Add Administrator to specify that a member should be treated as an admin. The standard Select Member dialog is displayed to allow you to select a member and only active members are shown in the list. You can click the Remove icon to remove an administrator, but this option is not available if there's only one person remaining in the list because the site needs at least one administrator. If your organization has subgroups, for example, regions, districts, and chapters, you can assign admins just for those groups. We'll come back to this shortly. The lower part of the screen lists coordinators, with access to one or more administrative function. When you click Add a Coordinator, a screen shows the various control panel functions that can be assigned to a coordinator. It's used when your club or association has assigned someone to help with a specific function or set of functions, but you don't want to give that person access to every option on the control panel. Select the member name at the top, and then check the options to which this member should have access. In this case, we'll give Jenny the rights to manage photos, photo albums, and custom pages. Most of the items are pretty obvious, but there are a few special permissions, such as adding a new custom page, a new photo album, or edit payments. You can check the admin guide or help screen for more details. Click Save to save your changes and return to the Administrator's Coordinator screen, or cancel to return without saving. Similarly, you can edit the permissions for an existing coordinator by clicking on the Functions icon. You can also click the Remove icon to remove all coordinator functions from a user, thereby removing him or her from the list. You can click the Copy icon to copy the rights from one coordinator to another member. This is a quick and simple way to replicate coordinator functions, particularly useful when transferring responsibilities to another person. When you select a member to receive the rights, they get an exact duplicate of the rights, replacing any that they may have had previously. There's another way to look at your coordinators. Clicking the View by Function button displays a list of each function within the control panel categories. Click the Members icon to display members assigned to coordinate that function. You can optionally add or remove coordinators for this function. When back at the list, you can click the Remove icon to remove all members from that function. Clicking the View by Member button switches us back to the Member view. Now let's go back to the Control Panel. Almost every function on the Control Panel also has a People icon. This is another way to define coordinators who have access to that function only. For example, if you click this option for the Member Manager, the list shows all of the current coordinators. This shows the same names we saw earlier when looking at the coordinators by function. If I click Add Coordinator, I can add another member to those who can go into the Member Manager and manage the membership database. You'll recall that a moment ago we defined Jenny as having coordinator rights over photos, photo albums, and custom pages. When we go to the Website tab and click on the People icon for the Photo Manager, we'll see that Jenny is already listed there because we defined her a moment ago on the other screen. Note that if your club has subgroups such as regions, districts, or chapters, 
Some screens where you add coordinators, such as photo albums and events, also let you select the group and limit the coordinator's rights just to that group. If your club or association supports subgroups, you can assign administrators at any level. Go to the Control Panel's Club tab, scroll down to Setup, and select Organization Data. Right-click on a chapter, district, or region name, and select the Administrators option to specify the administrator for just that subgroup. Keep in mind that if a subgroup contains subgroups below it, for example, assigning an administrator for a region that contains districts and chapters, the scope of that region administration also includes all of the districts and chapters within that region. Subgroup admins have access to many functions, but they're limited to just the members within their subgroup. Among the functions are the member manager and non-member database, the event calendar, emailings, committees, the custom page manager, reports, and data exports. So administrators and coordinators represent the first two levels of security. The next level of security is someone who has rights over one or more custom web pages. If we look at custom pages, we see that we already have members as coordinators, so they can administer any custom page. However, we may need to give some particular members the ability to manage specific pages. Let's click Custom Web Pages and search to show all of the pages. Each page in the result list has a coordinators option. So for example, in addition to those assigned as the coordinators of the custom pages, other members may need the ability to update the About the Northwest Balloon Club page. When we click on the Manage Coordinators icon, we see that Jane Smith is a coordinator just for this page. Jane doesn't have any admin rights anywhere else in the system, and she has no other coordinator rights. All she has is the ability to modify this page. And so when Jane goes to the About the Northwest Balloon Club page, she will see an edit link in the Page Tools widget. And if she goes to her control panel, she will only see the Website and Support tabs. And when she clicks on Custom Pages in the control panel, she sees only those pages that she's allowed to manage. Similarly, when we click on Photo Albums, you can assign coordinators to specific photo albums in the result list, and it behaves the same as assigning coordinators to custom pages. The next level of security is someone who has coordinator rights over a specific instance within one of the special functions. And there are a couple of places where this is defined. The first one is the event calendar. You can define someone to be a coordinator of a specific event, also known as the event contact, and that person will then have admin rights over that particular event. There are two ways to assign an event contact. When defining or editing a quick event, click on the edit icon and select a member in the contact person field and save the updated event. When defining or editing a single or multi activity event, Edit the event contact panel and add one or more members. For each contact, you select a member and make some choices about what to display and whether the contact is notified for each registration. You must also assign one contact as primary as this is the name that appears in the event emails. If this panel is not currently displayed in the panel list, it can be enabled by editing the basic information panel. Like administrators and coordinators, when viewing an event, the event contact sees the Show Admin Options link that takes them to the admin panels for that event. Note that if this member is not a module coordinator elsewhere in the system, they won't see a control panel link, and they can only administer the event while viewing the event itself. A similar option applies to discussion forums. When we go to discussion forums, we see a list of all forums. Clicking the Members link on the Equipment forum shows all of the forum members. To shorten this list, click on Special Members to show only those who are moderators, blocked, or have opted out. There are two ways to add a moderator. Click on the Add Moderator button and select a member. Once again, I'll add Jenny Cho. The list is updated to show this new moderator, and you can see all of the other moderators. The other way is to edit the member and select or remove them as a moderator. This means that Jenny now has admin rights over the specific forum, not every forum and not the whole module. When she visits the equipment forum, 
she can change the discussion thread's title. And within a thread, she can edit message content, approve or reject pending posts, and do other administrative tasks. Let's go back and log in as an admin. Blogs are handled a little differently. Only administrators and coordinators can administer blogs, and this includes assigning authors to a blog. Once again, we'll add Jenny. Now we'll log in as Jenny and visit the blog, and we see options to add a blog post. So we'll enter a test post here. When she clicks on Edit Post, she can do some limited administration. She can edit or delete her own posts, but she can't edit the posts of other authors. The lowest level of security within the system is an individual member's security. When each member logs in, they have access to a profile function, which allows them to manage or administer their own personal information within the database and no one else's information. Please watch the Updating Your Member Profile video for more details. Finally, in the Reports section of the Control Panel's Website tab, there are two reports about website security. One shows the administrators and coordinators for each function. It also shows the subgroup administrators and those who can coordinate custom pages and photo albums. The second report is sorted by member and shows everyone who has some level of admin rights within the system. So that's a quick look at security within Club Express. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.